Hey, what's up, everybody? Frankie Slauson here. And you're probably wondering, well, where are you? Where are you filming? And I was like, so I say, well, I'm filming here. The best spot to do this is to film at the laundromat because there ain't nobody here, and uh, you know, it doesn't really get nearly as busy as you know most laundromats do in bigger cities. Remember, I'm in the small town of Greenwich, Minnesota, and it's not really. It doesn't really get too busy in this town here and there. But the reason why I'm doing this video is because <coughs> I, uh, for the last couple months now, uh, Travis Beerwagon, aka Planet Beerwagon, has challenged me to do a, a some sort of Back to the Future challenge. And the reason why he has challenged me to do that is because I, in one of my videos, in one of my eBay purchase videos or whatever, I claimed that I said that I'm probably one of the biggest Back to the Future fans <coughs> on uh, YouTube or on the Five Awesome Sun channel at the time. And I should clarify on that, uh, about what it means to be a big fan of such a film of that. And what it means is, is that you really care a lot about the film that you'd be willing to buy just about any type of merchandise to represent the film and that you know it well pretty much know well I guess you don't necessarily have to know every uh, each movie line for line or script for script or whatever or you know as far as the uh, what's it call it uh, <laughs> uh, script or whatever you know know all the words of the movie or whatever but it does help to know certain lines certain quotes or certain you know uh, scenes that you remember, uh, but to be a fan, also you you gotta you gotta know a lot about the film in general. <clears throat> and he challenged me to do some type of reenactment. And the last time I tried this, it wasn't really as good. And I, and I realized that I probably didn't put as much effort into this uh, the the last time around. But uh, I did. Uh, decided to do something. Now, I'm not going to do a reenactment. I know that was part of the deal, but I figured, you know what, Sh Travis, uh, my reenactment skills aren't as good as, as yours are, or as anybody else. And I'm not going to make kind of make any excuses on that. But, but, I did do something else to prove how much of a Back to the Future fan I am. And I, I actually, it took me a few days to actually come up you know, with something, because I thought about it, like, you know, I better do something quick, because he, he might think that I don't want to, you know, that I don't want to, you know, earn those two comic books and whatever the special surprises that he wants to send me. Uh, so I figure what I'm going to do is uh, come up with something different. I'm not going to do reenactment, but I'm going to do a, I wrote a poem. <clears throat> and back in the day when I was in school, you know, when I graduated almost eight years ago in 2002, I was told that I had some pretty good writing skills and why I didn't continue with that to this day, you know, in, in a future career or something, I have no idea. But, I don't know, maybe more of just a private writer, more or less. It's like, when I write something, you know, will people understand what I'm trying to say or whatever, more or less? So, I wrote, and I took some time, and I actually wrote a poem uh, in tribute to Back to the Future. And I think this should qualify because... I, I did put a lot of work into it. I put a lot of effort into it. I printed it off uh, off of my email. I said I wrote it because I don't have a printer. I had to go to the library and print it off. But I wrote it. I took some time to, to write it, and I you know sent it to my email. And uh, you know words are here. I didn't copy it from nobody or nothing. I actually took the time to see what would make sense. When you do it a movie, you know type of poem. For a movie, you want to make sure you kind of, you know, just like any poem, you want to make sure it makes sense. So I took that's why it took me a little while because I wanted to surprise you guys, let a little and let a little Travis, with some type of reenact uh, a poem that would make sense for the Back to the Future movie. And this is based on the first one. I figure start with the original, or, you know, do with the original because it, everybody claims that one's the best. Although I think Part Two is better. But here we go. This is my Back to the Future poem written by Frankie Slauson. And here we go. Normal day, normal life, 
all turned upside down, walking along the edge of a knife in this quiet Cali town. To the mall at 118 to help out a friend. Such things I have never seen. Has he met his end? Oh my God, I'm back in time. Hello, Mom and Dad. God is all the dirt and grime the 50s never had. Look, my friend, is here as well, as a younger dude. Ronald Reagan, bring a bell? He invite, he invents and broods. I told him my tale, and I can tell you sure, should the lightning storm not fail, I go back to the future. But first, some mistakes, for it was plain to see, somewhere in the confusing mix, my mom got the hots for me. Time to put dad to action. Turn this awkward geek into a chamber, into a charmer with fashion by the, by the end of the week. Get him to rescue the girl. Oops, change his plans. That Biff, always in their world. George became a man. Time to rock out so they can kiss. There was no doubt that he would miss. The time has come. The time has come. Thunder rages on. I'm going home. I'm going home. A plug falls on the lawn. My dearest friend, the doc, will I see him again? He climbs that tower's clock. Too late to stop the end. Just as the crash resounds and the charge goes down the wire and with a crackling sound <laughs> I am consumed by fire. Oh my god, I'm home. For better or for worse. Normal life for some, but I broke my family's curse. And with my best friend all right, my best girl here to show. Our future is our own light. Anywhere and when we go. Thank you. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was my Back to the Future poem. Uh, you know, I took some time. It took me a little while to, to figure it out, you know, how I was going to do everything. But I figure, you know, it took me probably two to three weeks to kind of work on it because I want to make sure that it was perfect. And I, I, you know, used to write short poems you know, in the past, but like I say, you know, the reason why I don't really tell people about them or, or, or read them on the air, this is the first time I've ever done this, is because when people understand it, you know, what I'm trying to get at. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you ever want a copy of the poem or whatever, I'd be happy to give you guys a copy of it if you want. I also enclosed it on the RetroJunk.com forum uh, as a post. So uh, when they approve my article, I'll let you guys know where you can take a look at it if you want. Because uh, I, I pull, post it on there too. I'm just waiting for it to get approved. But uh, other than that, that's all I have for you guys today on this edition of the Frankie Sauce Show. Hopefully this will get Travis's attention. Hopefully this approves of me you know, finally accept, uh, you know, accepting the Back to the Future Challenge and doing it great. A lot better and a lot more effort put into it than the last time because this is my final attempt. So anyway, we'll see you guys, guys next time for another great Frankie Sausage Show video. Bye-bye.